Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Nuding. In this episode, I will be doing improvisation with point cloud and animation. So let's get started. We have nothing in the scene, right? And I will switch on stretch of nodes. And I'm currently using Blender 2.92. Okay, so we want to generate points, for example. This is like super basic random vector can generate points. Mess viewer for the output. Okay, so this is super basic, and you can see there's a single point because we have count of one there. We can increase it more. Let's make just 100 for now. We can randomize the seed, and you can see it's kind of like a spherical. You can randomize this further using randomizer. Increase the amplitude, and now we we have something like. A little bit like a uh, flies or something but it's not moving you can randomize the seed and you think okay it's like moving like a noise that's uh, not exactly what you want so let's save this very quickly so this is a uh, point cloud study so in blender sometimes uh, in the past I think people don't think too much about point cloud but I want to talk about point cloud because this is something that you can further use to create mesh okay you can remesh it um, there's a couple of ways to do this but for now I will just focus on something I want to show you you can use noise vector noise this is like I've done this in the past many many times if you add a vector noise there it's using the position of the vectors before it position of the points and then you can use it to generate this kind of motion. It's kind of nice. So you can just plug in a vector there, play around with the X position or the Y or the Z. If you use frame. So this is basically this kind of like super basic procedural. It's not particles, but it's in motions. So it's quite interesting. And if, if you look at this, it's like, okay, it's moving, it's like a, something like a insect or something. But still, it's just a point position in space, right? I want to show you something interesting. This is Blender 2.92. I don't have geometry nodes here, so I will open another Blender, which is the, the more recent one, Blender 2.93 with geometry nodes. And I will switch to this one soon. I want to show you if I, I'll I'll make this like hundred frames. We know this. We're gonna have this kind of insects for hundred frames. I will go file export file export alembic selected objects only and export. You will see that here file import alembic you will see the resulting animations is not actually animation yet it's static which is a uh, pretty annoying <laughs> because this is animation however if you kind of trick blender to do that displacement string of zero file export alembic re-export this one is actually exporting the animation <clears throat> so currently I cannot install add-on like sphere drop or animation nodes into blender 2.93 but it might change change again hopefully but anyway I trick blender to export the alembic which is cool which is cool why because we can use geometry nodes now and with geometry nodes <clears throat> if you already use <coughs> geometry nodes for a while if you search point <coughs> points is actually regarded as kind of like a first class it's no longer like okay it's just a points no points is actually quite something <coughs> you can turn points into volume and you can use volume to mesh this is actually one of my favorite <clears throat> in the uh, Blender 
with Spreadshop, uh, I mean with, with Geometry Nodes. We don't have Spreadshop here at the moment, I cannot install it somehow. You can see points become a volume and volume become a mesh. <coughs> and this is something that you can render. It's no longer just points, it now has faces and edges. And on top of that, if you if you play around with uh, Spreadshop for a while, you can actually use Vertex Color, something like that. I will try to transfer this into geometry nodes at some point. Because uh, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm dealing with point cloud data, and I like point cloud data. So this is like the big volume. So points become a volume. You can play around with the threshold. Sometimes with threshold just 0.5 is enough. And then you can also use adaptive. Adaptive will generate something that's a little bit it's kind of uh, making it the topology changes, make it more efficient. You might like that. You might not like that. However, it's useful. On top of that, you can do something like mirror, which is pretty cool. And you have some kind of weird noise animations. You can remesh, smooth shading, character generator. Not exactly, but yeah, I've, I've been doing this for a while. I think this is a pretty interesting method. So Alembic coming in from this uh, spectrum. And we can play on here. Oh, there's actually yeah, the radius. Make it small. I could actually just increase the points here. This this motion is kind of interesting. We can have multiple motion. Smaller and bigger motions just mix the motions together. Something like that. And increase this. Plug this into the vector. So a lot of possibilities. Increase the scale here if you want. Actually, you can use different motion. So if I increase this to 1000 points, you can see the noise happening. You can offset the time. Yeah, okay. That's file export alembic. And <clears throat> let's delete. Okay, don't delete. File import alembic. This is something that you can actually link. Um, yeah, you can use link. You can change the data. You can connect this to this guy. Select this object first, and then select this, and then command L, link the modifier. Oops, yeah, it crashes. <laughs> right. So it happens because this is Blender 2.93 alpha, alpha, and then. Uh, oh, by the way, you can also do interesting trick here okay okay you can use box okay this is the old way I'm doing this look at this I'm using this box and I'm creating this in the past you can actually do this and do remesh this is actually already pretty cool it's almost like a volume um, volume remesher, but as uh, something else. This is still interesting, and you can file. You can use displacement trick. 
you can file export alembic and let's it doing it for let's see, doing its job so let's do this again import alembic from the desktop this guy import okay we have this nice same same trick same drill just do this many many times you can do it really fast it's like a magic trick there play around with density and radius maybe threshold a little bit Yep, it works. It's pretty cool. You can decimate or whatever. Um, yeah, the next thing I want to do, experiment with is the color. For now, I don't need to worry about the color. I'm gonna bring in the other point cloud. Okay, look. Yeah, this one is more like water. If you use displacement and <clears throat> actually doing the displacement in the opposite way, you can kind of generate something that's a little bit more like water. And you know, on top of this, you can also, because this is now already becoming a different object. For example, for this, you can use, uh, I don't want to use monkey head for now, just Maybe the toes. So, for example, this guy, we can treat it like a points, also point instancer, point distribute. It's become a new points, point cloud. We can instance our toes. You got it? So this is pretty interesting. Totals instance. So if you select this guy and we so look at this. So mesh alembic data coming in, geometry nodes, turn it into mesh volume, add another geometry nodes, torus instance. So look at that. How interesting. So this is like a, yeah, like I said, it's like a magic trick. It's not particularly exciting. This is like super basic. However, it's fun. Point scale. Okay, you can do point scale, right? And you can randomize. The attribute just add it give some randomizations this is random density you can use also Poisson disk so Poisson disk there some kind of art probably you prefer this guy so I just can delete this save this as point cloud art I'm currently doing this uh, something else right there's an add-on I just want to show it to you there's an add-on called stop motion obj you can import mass sequence just want to show you um, so this is PLY data point cloud data that I capture using my iPhone I capture my face and then I just import it into blender this this file 
tends to be pretty big. A few seconds will give you like a gigabyte of data and my computer is not probably not strong enough to have a lot of data but I only have 20 frames here. I'm gonna load it into Blender, it's gonna be like 30, 30 megabyte. So yeah, I'm importing the point cloud data and the result is gonna be something like this. File, import, alembic. This one, face cache. So I get this data. So this is my captured face. This one, I can use the geometry nodes and photos instance also. See if I can make this smaller. So I cannot scale this guy. Transform scale. Ah, okay. Trying to trying to do too much. All right. I, so apparently yes, I did, I did manage to scale this guy. So this is my talking head. With a Taurus instance on top of it. Okay, so and this is also animating as well, 400 frames. The, la the data is quite large. But this is also something, like I said, Ideally, the point cloud should come into Blender uh, with a with a vertex color data and a vertex normal, etc. This one doesn't come with anything; just points. This one is running in real time, so the 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 add-on that's responsible, like I said, it's called stop motion OBJ. You can download it yourself. You can try it export it out as alembic, bring it into newer render and then you can create something like this. Pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, so that's uh, that's the quick magic trick for today. So give it a try yourself. It's quite fun. So basically we are dealing with something called point cloud and we will probably heard this quite often if you are doing computer graphics um, yeah thanks again for tuning in hopefully this is useful thanks again and I'll see you next time thank you bye